Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Gillies and I'm Course Director in Culinary Arts Management from the Department of Hospitality and Tourism Management. I'm here today to talk to you primarily about the BSc in Culinary Arts Management on our Belfast campus, give you an overview of the course, what you will learn, how you'll be taught, how we will support you um, and talk about the future careers. So why study Culinary Arts Management at Ulster University? <clears throat> In a nutshell, food and hospitality is worth nearly one billion to the Northern Ireland economy. So food is rapidly evolving. It constantly needs innovation and talent. And that is what you will learn on this specific degree. Very much a wide skill set. You'll learn to be creative, innovative and entrepreneurial. So it brings in that business aspect into the course as well. You'll also gain highly sought after and transferable skills. So skills such as teamwork, communication skills, leadership skills, um, which are needed across the hospitality and culinary industry. It's very much a business degree closely aligned with industry. You will get a current understanding and up to date understanding of how you can add value to um, any business right the way through from year one to final year. Furthermore, we have <clears throat> The Academy Restaurant on our Belfast campus. Uh, very proud to have our Academy Restaurant, a purpose built commercial and educational um, restaurant, event space, and, and learning facility. We're one of only six universities that offer this live working environment. And previously, a number of years ago, um, we've been awarded the Grub Club, Grub Club Restaurant of the Year Award. Um, we've also been awarded Taste of Ulster Award for numerous years, really since we have opened. Other aspects of the degree, we have top guest lectures that do come in. We expose ourselves to great opportunities. We have master classes, we have demonstrations. We've also culinary salon events where guest chefs will come in and actually cook alongside our students. So really giving you um, exposure to what's going on within the industry at both local level, regional level and international level as well. Good to point out that we're in the top 20 for tourism, transport, travel and heritage studies and that um, that field or that area, the culinary arts does fall into and that's the complete university guide 2022. Culinary arts management itself combines both practical culinary skills with that business acumen. So it's very much a business management degree with specialisms in the practical culinary skills area. It does focus on creativity, as I said previously, innovation, developing culinary and management skills, I suppose really necessary for this ever changing, vibrant global um, world or your, the career that you, you plan on pursuing. In terms of what you'll learn, you will learn knowledge, professional skills, we'll focus on different principles such as gastronomy, food and beverage operations and marketing practice. So you can see already there's very much food oriented subjects or modules um, as well as business modules, which I will go into in a little bit more detail further on. You'll have a wide variety of opportunities that I will talk about further um, into this presentation. Um, but we do have, as I said, visiting lectures, visiting professors, um, visiting chefs that come in and work alongside our students within the Belfast campus. As I said previously, you'll learn specialist skills, so those culinary skills, those culinary art skills, the cooking skills, but also transferable skills. So leadership, communication skills, team working, um, ultimately to make you more highly desired at both home and abroad. So in terms of the different experiences and what is involved within the culinary arts degree. So first year is very much about the fundamentals. You learn the skills um, and the knowledge really behind cooking and culinary arts. Second year, we're looking more processes and the skills again, but we're moving into more supervisory management roles. So you will find that a lot of the modules will become more business-like but as well as being very much specific to food and culinary arts. Then the third year we have placement year, so it's a 48 week um, fully immersive experience. You become a full time member of whatever team, whatever establishment that you decide or if you need help, we can decide for you. So um, you become a full time member of the team. The, the, the world's your oyster, you can go anywhere at all. 
we have students that stay local we have students that go to america and we have students that obviously go further afield so um placement year obviously key um for that industrial experience and then moving into final year where you're applying all the knowledge that you've gained from first right the way through um to where you are in final year and you'll also have optional modules um optional modules being with management accounting or marketing or managing talent and we also have research paper or business plan so it really depends what you um what you choose yourself so in terms of the different modules um you can see management in action very much a business management module um principles of gastronomy where we look at the history behind gastronomy the history behind food moving in the contemporary gastronomy so again modern cuisine modern gastronomy pastry and confectionery and food and beverage operations so from these these lists in first year you can see there's one business focused the rest of them are quite um food focused or culinary focused moving into year 2 then you can see more business orientated business research methods accounts um people management and marketing but you also are in the kitchen and you will be taking part modules such as advanced contemporary gastronomy so you're moving on from the first year module and food and beverage operations management so again moving in to that more supervisory management field year 3 I've already talked about which is the placement year 48 weeks ultimately a full year when you take your holidays out of it um where you can you can go into um any establishment as long as it obviously relates to the learning outcomes within the course year 4 then again you can see business focused uh, performance metrics analysis management accounting marketing managing talent strategic management business plan or research paper we still have a food module so it's an innovative food module where you will um go away you will research different dishes um get ideas from different countries and you will come back and you create a dish based on your research so it's very much a research based module but you still do cook a final dish at the end of it cook in front of a panel um, and obviously assessed on it as well so you can see from first year it's more practical skills based whereas final year it's more putting everything into um bringing it all together and putting it into business focused modules in terms of how you will be taught obviously it's a culinary arts degree program so there are several practical modules from year 1 right the way through to year 4 usually these modules run over 3 to 4 days 18 to 20 hours per week face to face with the likes of myself and other academics training staff within the department there is a substantial amount of personal study does depend on the modules but generally 6 to 8 hours per week recommended for either group work or personal study because of the nature of the program working in the kitchen working within a culinary team it's very much team based so that's why we have quite a lot of group work so you may be in pairs you may be in threes groups of four or five perhaps we also have personal study study support such as blackboard learn which is a, an online learning portal really to support our day-to-day -day activities so any presentations demonstration videos are put on to blackboard and we have a multiple multitude of library resources as well as i said previously there's some group work involved very much a team based or team focused subject um group work does include presentations for example you also have a kitchen supervisory in year two where you take over the running of the kitchen um, and ultimately become the head chef so you're responsible for the ordering the food the costings you bring together your staff you obviously brief them and assign them tasks um, this happens generally on a tuesday night you produce a six course tasting menu but by year two it's not that we're throwing you in at the deep end you're more than ready and the support is in place there for you modules are mainly assessment or assignment based um, there are a few practical modules which have practical exams and pr different modules such as accounts will still have that more sit down two three hour formal exam but the majority of modules are mainly assessment or assignment based different facilities within the university we obviously have our library and um, the different online platforms that we do use study rooms group work areas and obviously computer labs for students to utilize 
as previously talked about the academy restaurant um from the first week in year one you will be immediately immersed into this academy area so as i said previously it's a commercial educational um restaurant event space um the idea is that you get real world experience so we have training support officers we have commercial um, manager we have a head chef and all of these different people are there to support you and your learning as i said previously we have the taste of ulster award uh, we're one of six universities in the uk that offer this live working environment and just last year in 2021 22 um, the, the new academy the new complex was built so it's very much a brand new facility there for the use of the students in terms of how we will support you we have a multiple or multitude of amount of staff of um, supporting mechanisms within the university you will be assigned a course director that's myself for culinary arts and you will be assigned a personal tutor we also have peer mentor program where almost like a study buddy so those um, students those particular students are your go-to students so we and we find that's very very positive experience for our year one students in final year you'll have a designated research paper and business plan supervisor so very much one-to-one -one learning and um, one-to-one -one mentoring different resources available through blackboard learn the different library resources we have online portals you have access to thousands if not millions of journal articles of research papers um, for your disposable for your disposal whenever you are studying at the university in terms of class sizes the culinary arts degree has since been capped at 16 so it's gone up slightly and um, but very much small class sizes very much focused on um, group work but almost one-to-one -one learning when it comes to the skills so it gives us time to focus on your skills um, and concentrate on that practical learning environment there are career sessions built into the degree so from year one right the way through to year four we will make full use of our employability department so they will come in and deliver sessions with yourselves in year one really looking at cvs interview techniques interview skills really putting you out there to be above everybody else getting that edge that we talk about and we also have a wide range of student support services available um, for our students to use as and when they need to in terms of the COVID-19 impact um, just to touch on it very very quickly the industry itself we look at it now and we can see that u-shaped recovery there's a lot of different opportunities available within the hospitality and culinary industry there are many many different employment opportunities in the industry um, and i suppose there's been that refocus on financial and environmental sustainability and sustainability is obviously it's a it's in vogue it's a very much a buzzword at the minute restaurants establishments hotels are re-imagining or re-looking at the customer experience and how they can collaborate with um different businesses there's obviously been a refocus initially on domestic tourism, but we are seeing more and more international tourists coming to Northern Ireland and Ireland. In terms of how we taught during COVID-19, just to give you a brief overview, students were still able to complete their degree with a more blended approach. Um, some classes were still on campus for practical reasons, but we did have mitigations in place for this. The change to online learning was embraced by students and staff and we had live lessons and one-to-one -one different tutorials so really I'm, I'm putting this out there because often people ask at open days what if COVID came back or what way did it affect students whenever it did happen so just really a quick overview of what what we did um, to get our students through the degrees so different students that have come through the culinary arts program and um, just a few that I've pulled out Holly Ford Holly Ford had her placement year in Glen Eagles Hotel in Scotland, five red star hotel with a two Michelin star restaurant. Holly came back to Northern Ireland, finished her degree, worked in Dean's. For those of you that don't know Michael Dean, he has a, an empire of restaurants in Belfast, uh, one of them being a Michelin starred restaurant, and um, the others all being award winning as well in their own right. 
She then went on to work in Ox, again a Michelin starred restaurant, and has opened her own business, Holly Berry Tea Rooms in Swatra, just outside Banbridge. Very, very successful business, um, and she used her business plan to primarily focus on her business idea and what she wanted to do. Matt Logan completed his placement year in Chapter 1 in Dublin, again, one-star Michelin restaurant. He then did a stage, or what we, what we call a stage is a short work placement, in 11 Madison Park in New York. Currently a holder of three Michelin stars, it has been named in the top five restaurants in the world. He then went on and was sous chef or second chef in Ox, again, a one Michelin star restaurant in Belfast. Callum Irwin, last but not least, um, Callum took his placement in the Muddlers Club in Belfast. He was part of the team that won the Michelin star back a number of years ago. He's now the sous chef in the Academy restaurant, so he's part of the commercial team and obviously does um, delve into the, the teaching aspect as well. He was winner of the Belfast MasterChef competition while he was at university and was also winner of the Lee Kum Ki scholarship while at university. Um, Callum had to write a 10,000 word research paper uh, looking at the different careers within um, the culinary arts industry. Obviously came first and he won a month's trip to the Far East. Callum as well achieved a first class honours as did the other students. So in terms of the paid work placement year, it's a real world life experience. So it's designed to include this placement year or a study abroad year. Over the past few years, students have taken this year to go to various establishments. And as I previously said, Glen Eagles, but we also had have had students and we still do continue to have students that would go to country clubs in the likes of Florida. We've had a student has gone to the Maldives and then obviously students that do stay local, Muddlers Club, Dean's, Ox, Shoe, The Merchant Hotel, etc. What are the benefits of a placement year? You are more likely to achieve a higher final degree classification. We do find that students that do take placement can relate to the real life working environment and bring it back into their studies in final year whenever they come to writing up their work. You're more likely to be in full-time professional employment within six months of graduating because you have that real world practical experience. Obviously, by doing a placement, you're going to build your professional network. You're going to meet people. You're going to meet new people. The hospitality culinary industry within Northern Ireland is very, very small. Um, so it's a great industry to, to meet people and maintain that professional network. You will also obtain an extra diploma upon graduation. So your degree paper will also state that you have done a placement and achieved that particular diploma. In terms of different opportunities available on the degree, uh, I'm not going to name them all. These are just a few examples, but we do have restaurant visits, we have foraging trips, we have guest speakers. Um, we have student conferences, again, with the guest speakers coming in, but the students will be very much involved in the organisation of it. We've had students previously gone to the likes of IFEC, Salon Culinaire competitions. We have had gold medal winners, silver medal winners and bronze medal winners. Um, but we've also had students doing demonstrations with the big food companies as well. Um, I'm very much involved with Future Chef and Springboard, so a number of students have become ambassadors within the programme, um, and we go out to schools and talk about what we do within the university, but what we do in the wider hospitality industry as well. So in terms of other things or other um, events that can happen at the university. Over the next number of years, we do have funding in place to run what we call Academy Culinary Salons. So these are very much big events that bring chefs, um, national and international chefs that come over, work with our students, design menus and, and put the event on within our Academy restaurant. The picture here was of our first uh, culinary salon back in February um, of with Romy Gill. Now Romy Gill is Romy Gill MBA, chef, author and broadcaster and you will see her on the TV. So these are the sort of individuals that we do target and we, we are able to bring to work with our students. So in terms of other opportunities, um, Kopi Kitchen Takeover in the Academy where the local restaurant Kopi came in, took over the Academy and put on their own menu, talked talk through our students about costings, menu planning, and actually putting the menu into place. Um, 
also opportunities for students to work within the industry on a part-time basis while at university um, and opportunities for that you know that menu development embedding skills different opportunities for placement so as i previously said culinary arts management graduates they're in high demand there's a huge amount of employment opportunities out there within the industry um, and they're in high demand for their technical and professional skills so what do employers want and what have we aligned our degrees with so accredited recognized qualifications and practical experience it's a bsc honors degree it's recognized um, by the institute of hospitality and it has practical experience embedded within the curriculum itself in the teaching but also within that placement year as well employers want students that have the ability to solve practical problems by applying skills and knowledge and it's, when you look at the restaurant and how the, the learning and teaching does take place you're continuously looking at problems and how to solve problems and um, by applying what skills and knowledge that you have picked up they also look for the ability to project manage and work in teams and as i said previously from day one you're put into teams you could be put into pairs or teams of three four or five um, and you will have people that will naturally project manage and take over as project manager but you as part of some of your assignments and assessments will have to take on that role of project manager so you have overall control of that particular event or that particular evening the tasting menu whatever it may be and then obviously they want students with the ability to articulate and communicate their ideas that's the reason why we have presentations within our degree so the communication skills um, and that ability to talk and communicate with each other are coming to the forefront in terms of future careers within culinary arts management so um people often think when they look at culinary arts they're going to be a chef but the list um, is obviously longer than that you can go into development chef roles such as working for big food companies where you're designing food or um, dishes to go to the retail market for example or you could be a development chef within a restaurant many restaurants do have their own development team where they design dishes for the menu before it goes in to the main kitchen food styling another opportunity where you're designing pictures plating food for specific um maybe social media magazines for tv for example food entrepreneur head chef restaurant owner and manager very much that senior management level we have had students that do leave after getting the degree they may go and open their own restaurant and um, they may become they become head chef a number of years after they graduate they won't walk out with a degree and walk into a head chef's position but you will move up the ranks that little bit quicker potentially getting into a role such as catering manager so you have all the business acumen to put into practice becoming a, a catering manager or an events manager um chef lecturer myself um, and two other students that did this degree and um, went in to the educational side and became chef lecturers within fe colleges or obviously universities um, and then private chef we do have some companies that will approach us looking for students to be private chef maybe in a ski resort uh, for placements or potentially on a yacht so yachts that tour the caribbean yachts that tour europe they always want private chefs to cook on their boats and it's beautiful because you're moving into different ports and um, sometimes on a daily weekly basis um, and different food dealing with different people so great opportunities there for both graduates and for our placement year as well so chef Nell mckenna is our visiting professor and works very closely within the culinary arts management program uh, and just a quote that uh, professor mckenna did say also university are producing the next leaders of a growing industry within northern ireland the key relationship i have with them has allowed me to develop my business further by creating top class graduates and the key here is leaders so we are producing business managers business leaders um, for the hospitality industry as professor mckenna says within northern ireland but we also have students and graduates that do go further afield nationally and internationally in terms of belfast for those of you that maybe have not seen the belfast campus it's a brand new campus located within belfast's cathedral quarter um, very much a bustling cultural center of the city we have modern state-of-the-art facilities as i said previously home to the award-winning academy restaurant 
and we can accommodate 15,000 students and staff. Just a little overview of the course with a QR code that will take you straight to the Ulster uh, website. Um, if anybody has any further questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch with myself, um, m.gillies at ulster.ac.uk. Um, even if you search me on the Ulster webpage, Colin Arts Course Director, you will find me. Just to make you aware that courses do continually, um, course, courses are continually reviewed really to take advantage of the new teaching approaches and developments in research industry and the professions. So modules may change for your specific year of entry. The exact modules available and their order may vary depending on course updates, staff availability, timetable and student demand. So just please contact myself or the course team for the most up to date module lists. If you need any more, any more information, ulster.ac.uk or you can email study at ulster.ac.uk. Uh, any questions, queries that you may have will be directed to myself um, and I can certainly answer those queries for you. Thank you very much for listening. I uh, appreciate your time. Thank you. Goodbye.